Hi, Guido Fox here. Welcome by a new book report. Today I want to discuss with you the book from Osho, Living Dangerously. So, Living Dangerously, a very important title and all the titles of Osho is direct to the point. It's a very depth knowledge title, Living Dangerously. And what I see in the society is that everyone is searching for security i want to have a secure relationship i want to have her forever i want to have him forever i want to have a security job what earns good and i know that i have every month the same income and i can rise over years and over years and over years uh, so clinging to money Right, I want to have so much savings, I want to save so much money because something happened and I have some money on the back. So people, especially the Netherlands, are really savers and it's okay to save some money. I think it's not bad if you uh, have some problems with your dishwasher or you have to buy a new car or whatever. But as people save so much money it can be also based on security clinching and scared scaredness based saving so living dangerously is that you grabbing your life and you live your life more on a spontaneously and rebel life so you don't stay so long by the same employee uh, this life is a discovery life that means that you have to learn a lot from different people from different relationships from different employees and that's a new way of spiritual living is that this life is a fairy tale and it has to be a fairy tale it must be a fairy tale and it's a discovering life and that's i think the core essence of this book of orsho is that letting go more and not striving constantly for security for clinching aspects uh, aspects in your life so make it more changeable spontaneously more flexible and you will be more flowing you will be more happy so let everything more more streaming um, and he calls that on page 13 he calls that uh, economic versus psychologic slavery and actually economically slavery is nothing compared to psychologic slavery and actually he is saying that everyone who is not going into meditation is not free and live in a psychologically slavery world you are not free until you dive in deep and long meditation then you can be free of conditionings then you can be free in acting because you have a lot of self-confidence you're very self-secure you're very self-confidence in your action and you know you can fall on your inner happiness on your inner ecstatic feelings that is your ground that's your fundament and you don't listen anymore uh, to people who cannot reach your levels of intelligence or your levels of spiritual awakening um, so if you look in the world, so many people are stuck in the relationship, stuck in the work. They don't improve themselves uh, because of this slavery aspects, because of this clinching, because of this controlling, because of searching for security every time. And then you control your husband, then you control your relationship because you're very scared scares to lose someone and i see so many guys right so many guys are so afraid to lose a girlfriend so afraid to lose the girlfriend right and that's not good don't live in fear don't live in fear open to new things and don't be lazy to stay 
in the relationship if it doesn't work out any near anymore between you and the other partner if there is no development anymore between you and uh, the partner then it's also time to say goodbye and you can improve yourself with another partner so relationships will be more learning curves for you instead of only children and the first year of romantic love very important to understand that aspects of psychologic slavery where 90 90 percent of the people are in they're slaves they're not free they're scared to step out of love to step out of work dynamics and also scared to improve uh, him or herself and also scared to dive into meditation so scaredness is a lot of is a big phenomenon in uh, in this uh, in this world um, only the, also the scaredness of not reaching the dream job of your life right of your parents are saying to you you have to be become a uh, minister president or you have to become a ceo and you as a child or a doctor and you as a child are so uh, i want to reach that i want to reach that because there is family pressure there i want to impress my husband or my boyfriend or my girlfriend how good i am uh, to reach a kind of status oriented uh, job uh, in the society so that's also what you see a lot the scareness to don't reach the re results um, impressed imprinted by society ego um, reasons ego motives from also from society but also you see it from family uh, family pressures um, over there so that's the uh, psychologic slavery analysis of Orsho what can disturb uh, to live more spontaneously more in freedom and live more dangerously as the title of this book uh, speak for itself uh, right uh, and then we come on page 58 only a buddha can be free only a Mahavira can be free. Only a Christ can be free. Only a Zarathustra can be free. What is freedom? Freedom is not economically freedom. So most people are thinking, if I have so much money, then I am free. Then I can do what I want. But if you have so much money, you have to think where you put all those money in. Secondly, if you have so much money, you're also afraid to lose a lot of money. Thirdly, there are a lot of people become jealous in your life and treat you differently because they want something from you. So, a lot of money i think there is also balance there some kind of money is wonderful and a lot of money is also wonderful but you have to understand the negative aspects of it and also that the striving for money is actually the striving for spiritual growth So the most people are striving for money 
because then they can buy anything. And then the very rich princess or prince or royals in this world are diving in spirituality because they know that it's not the liver, the happiness, the deep spiritual ecstatic happiness what you can reach through meditation and to deep spiritual evolution and knowledge about killing the ego and the ego mechanism in your energy system and thinking system tackle all the mental blockades in you so you can be free also with a little money also with a little status you don't have that ego centric job or with the title of your job that you are now a partner or a manager or whatever in your life you can be very very peaceful and very very happy in this moment already so go with your mind not to striving higher positions or more expensive cars or more expensive houses but go more inside a more inward journey to break through the psychologic slavery what it puts on you so 90-90% of the people are not aware that they live a psychologic slavery life. You are sitting in a train, a mental distorted train with a chattering mind. Constant all those thoughts in your mind, you are unrestful. So you are in an unrestful life you are in an unrestful train and sometimes if you sit in a train you're so tunnel efficient that you don't know what kind of trains or higher spiritual trains they are and that is exactly what Osho wants to describe in his books is that you're not aware that you're actually mental slaved and that for thousands of thousand years so it's not only this life this soul life but also the past soul lives were influenced by society and they didn't make you enlightened they didn't give you the most wonderful ecstatic peaceful inner feelings so society kills enlightenment because otherwise there are no slaves anymore people don't want to work 40 60 hours anymore if they going thinking well and if they become more aware and have more consciousness then they think for themselves and then they are uncontrollable and they not going to work 60 hours per week anymore because it doesn't deliver the happiness where you soul wants to go your soul wants to go to enlightenment there is no other way 
There is no other way that your soul wants constantly reaching higher stages of consciousness and inner ecstatic feelings. Your soul wants that. So in this life you get a lot of problems, a lot of disturbances, a lot of disappointments. All those disappointments are coupled, are related to spiritual growth, to make you awake. So probably you have in your life some moments of hurry and then you crash with your head to a door or you have a car accident or have people who have a lot of accidents are mostly unaware so more focused on the inner feelings a more clearer calmer and more relaxing you become and who less accidents who less hurry conflicting moments you have in your life so small things can make you more aware so the universe are throwing shit on you in your life because the universe wants that you become higher in your spiritual energy and reaching uh, the planetarial cosmic energy so the universe wants that you as human people are coming on the same level as of cosmic consciousness that's more the deeper aspects of spiritual awakening and spiritual growth so universe or karma uh, is putting shit in you in your life to make you more aware and have more consciousness create more consciousness and if you create more consciousness your relationships will be better your work quality will be better in less time. Your leadership skills will become better. So your social skills become better. So everything is related with consciousness. Everything is related to become more and more aware and create more compassion to the world. Well, it starts always with uh, inner compassion. So create inner compassion. And I talked with you about that already in the previous, uh, previous video. So only a monk or meditative person, Saratusta, Marvira, Buddha can be free because they found the source. They found the flower in themselves and if you found the flower in yourself you can think for yourself and you'll become more free and aware in what kind of society toxic conditions uh, you were placed and you were living a very unnatural life if you lived a very very a natural life and there actually all the mental shit is coming from in the last years of your life or midlife crisis or crisis in your 20s or 30s they're all related to that you live an unnatural and an unmeditative life Page 77, earned consciousness, very important word, two words together, earned consciousness. 
and that's important consciousness awakening is arduous effort you have to be constantly with your mind aware of the ecstatic seven centers in your body and this a lot of spiritual energy and a lot of meditation time to reach higher spiritual stages so this earned consciousness you don't get it for free quality coaching you doesn't don't get it for free so you have to earn it you have to earn your consciousness and that's very important to say because a lot of people are thinking oh that's with one day or one week or we do some retread two weeks no it's years of years of work to let the flower grow and grow in your in your inner body it costs time and time so it's earth consciousness it's not something for free it's cost time and time and like old wines taste better it's the same with your consciousness so that cost years of years of years of work to enjoy the inner ecstatic feelings in your body and then you come on page 106 in a center periphery dynamics and that is very uh, interesting dynamics in your life um, that means that you become introvert and extrovert together you become more whole being you becoming more complete so it is inner work inside in the house or in centers meditation centers and it's outwardly in the market on the street in social environments so it is an in and outward harmonica life where you got energy from so jesus or Socrates were also walking a lot on markets and greeting people and maybe they met also some women there right social day love or guys I don't know but what you see it is a center center periphery dynamic so it is inward it's not only an inward journey but also an outward journey in and out in and out that's the social dynamics um, by a higher evolved person uh, a higher evolved person becomes more whole becomes introvert and extrovert together he can switch the poles and he is balanced balanced in his body balanced in his mind so it's a body mind balancing i also talked with you about that subject right in a previous video too so balance you become a balanced person with male qualities and female qualities so you become more whole you become more total and you live in total intense life so that is the center periphery dynamics what exists by earned consciousness then you will see that some changes will take place um, in your in your life one eight one uh, i mentioned this topic earlier but we are living in psychological slavery and therefore all the stress related 
burnout, depressions. Uh, a lot of people are depressed and live an unhappy life. Uh, they are related with thousands of years of false conditioning. Um, an unnatural conditioning um, and mostly yes related to sexuality that you cannot be free um, if you are in a uh, closed monogam relationship um, that will be stressful and anti-lovable I think on a certain moment people are not really aware of that that they also want to touch sometimes someone else um, and people are really dealing with that and all the frustration comes out in family life or in work um, so you are affected by thousands of years of false conditionings um, and that goes from past life into your life so you have different soul lives and your soul come back come back until enlightenment then you don't come back on earth anymore because otherwise you come enlightenment on earth <coughs> and you have to earn it right when i said it to you so the soul lives are infected by toxic society conditions but also um, DNA uh, on DNA and so your father and your mother uh, so DNA was toxic loaded and so you get toxic DNA from your parents because they were not enlightened so that means that you are at a certain moment not happy anymore with your parents they gave not the golden flower to you um, so it's one is uh, uh, the, the soul lies B is DNA and C and it's also a very interesting observation is uh, the behavioral patterns um, examples in your life yeah? because uh, if you live in a family or in school you get behavioral patterns before you a teacher um, or a football trainer or a piano teacher and you see uh, probably uh, it, that you're not aware of it but you see destructive uh, social behavioral patterns um, and you take that over so you're very young as a child and you take over different behavioral patterns so borrowed and you borrowed destructive patterns so this also makes you more um how you say um more unhappy because of the destructive condition so it's a b c there um and what orsha was saying you have to meditate the thousand years of false conditioning uh, to hold you unhappy um out of your energy and thinking system so and it costs years of years of years to break down uh, the conditionings of toxicity um, and create a more more lovable life for you also sexual wise to share more with different people you like um, without being feeling shameful or guilty in that way that is some implemented destructive conditioning uh, from years to years so what i see in my life is that slowly and slowly i go out of society conditioned and have a much more lovable life and no worrying life uh, much more sharing life and guilt and shame is dropped uh, guilt and shame or ego um, ego positionalities uh, and they're really gone so that's what you see uh, in spiritual uh, evolution and uh, reaching higher realms and higher 
spiritual wisdoms is that uh, shame and guilt feelings will will disappear also there in sexual in sexual sense uh, because sexuality is a very fundamental issue in spirituality and is related with our basic uh, basic fundaments why we are here uh, to reproduce also uh, so these are uh, the topic about uh, living dangerously uh, with the dis different aspects of our suppression for a thousand years and psychologic uh, slavery um, and that you can also all, only can be free by a certain amount of earned consciousness and then you will live a more introvert and extrovert life so more whole being life a complete life a more intense intense uh, intense life uh, thank you for watching this video and see you by the next uh, video bye bye